Bear of Phil Khabri, my name is Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Of course, breaking news. Uh, we already shared this on live stream, our Israeli News Live live stream channel there. I uh, had not brought it out on YouTube as yet. So many things happening at one time. Two breaking stories this evening. Uh, here on December the 19th, 2016, uh, reporting both the assassination of Russia's foreign ambassador to Turkey as well as a terrorist has struck in Berlin, Germany with an 18-wheeler killing some nine people thus far as the reports are coming out of Berlin. Let's go right to the start here uh, with the assassin shouts, Allah Akbar, don't forget Syria after shooting Russian ambassador uh, right there in the art gallery inside of Ankara. Uh, and of course, Al-Akbar meaning God is great as far as their God, that is. And don't forget Aleppo, but don't forget Syria after carrying out the deadly attack. This is this here real quick to show you just a quick, uh, uh, very graphic view of the video here. And it's not bloody, but it's just the fact that uh, the Russian ambassador has just been killed in this uh, video here. Let's go right to it. At the time, the, the um, ambassador appears to still be possibly alive. He does move just a little bit there, uh, right there at the end there. And it could, of course, he, you know, a very sad situation indeed uh, to see the ambassador in this condition here. But his arm does move uh, slightly there as, he's, uh, as the guy is running around screaming Allah Akbar there. Uh, very sad uh, in his last moments there, uh, Ambassador uh, Karlov uh, of uh, Andrei uh, Karlov, who is the Turkish ambassador for Russia to Turkey. Um, very, very troubling situation. Now, uh, it was not long after the assassination attempt that uh, President uh, Erdogan reached out to speak to President Putin by phone. Uh, after the after the murder, one particular article brought it out that it was that he was desperate to get in touch with President Putin, uh, no doubt because of the assassination uh, of uh, the Turkish excuse me of the of President Putin's uh, ambassador to Turkey. This will without doubt uh, raise certain very serious uh, consequences for Turkey. Uh, now keep in mind we had just reported on Israeli News Live. Uh, yesterday, about 14 uh, foreign intelligence officers that were captured by the Syrian Special Op Forces in eastern Aleppo. Now, this had actually happened a couple of days earlier. The difference was, though, we've seen a lot of uh, really hard push by the United Nations to get a resolution passed in order to uh, stop and have a ceasefire to be able to get uh, people out of eastern Aleppo, and why all of a sudden was the West interested in doing this? It was because the Syrian uh, special forces had actually captured 14, uh, and most of those being Saudi intelligence officers, but it also included Turkish, Qatar, U.S., and Israeli intelligence officers working inside of Syria. Very troubling situation, and no doubt President uh, Putin not very happy to find out that Turkey has intelligence officers working with the terrorists against his own forces there. Uh, I don't know if the phone call does any good at all in, in this case here, especially finding out that the very man that killed uh, foreign, uh, foreign minister to Turkey there, uh, uh, that the foreign minister there, Karlov, he was actually killed by a special ops uh, uh, officer for Erdogan. Al-Akbar Jihadist assassin of Russian ambassador was a member of Erdogan's special ops team there. In this photo right here, attacker of the Russian envoy identified as serving police officer named Merit uh, Adlinta, Adlintas, member of the special ops Ankara mayor says. Um, so I'm sure that's not going over very well with President Putin tonight. Uh, President Putin tonight. And, of course, we do send our condolences uh, to the family of the slain leader who served his post, Andrei Karlov, uh, with dignity there. And very sad that he was murdered in the way that he was actually murdered. Uh, again, it, 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 troubling situation. But, as I said, we have other breaking news as well. Besides this, also we're finding out uh, that over in Berlin, 
uh, truck plows into a Berlin Christmas market. You can see the truck here on your screen. Let me kind of blow this up for you just a little bit so we can get a little bit better view of this truck here that crashed into the market. At first, police were a little bit cautious to say this was a terrorist act, but now police are calling this a terrorist act. Uh, the, a truck plowed into a crowded Christmas market in the German capital of Berlin on Monday evening, killing nine people and injuring up to 50 others, police said. One suspect dead and uh, another arrested, police on local TV. German media citing police at the scene and said first indications pointed to an attack on the market when the truck plowed right through this Christmas market here. They said he was doing about 45 miles an hour and did not even try to slow down, not even in the slightest bit. Uh, kind of something I'd like to bring up to your attention. Uh, besides the fact that Tyler Durden here on Zero Hedge warned of this, America warns European travelers, Christmas shoppers, and jihadist crosshairs. Uh, this was reported by Tyler in about the last 14 hours. So there was about a 10 hour window. We also know that about a month ago, jihadists were already warning that they would be doing attacks during the Christmas season in all throughout, throughout Europe. Uh, but on here it says, in Lud Ludwighafen, Germany, a strongly radicalized 12-year-old boy on Iraqi heritage planted a bomb at a Christmas market at the end of November. Previously, the festive shopping tradition of Christmas markets had become potent symbols of freedom, with Germany's interior minister, Thomas uh, D. Mazzari, urging people to stick to an unserum le uh, leaven of our way of life. In Birmingham, England, the Christmas market has concrete barriers installed to deter vehicular suicide bombers, according to the head of Britain's Foreign Intelligence Service. The magnitude of the terrorism faced by the UK is unprecedented. French security forces thwarted attacks planned for December 1st against uh, Disneyland's Paris and the Christmas market on the main thoroughfare of the French capital in the uh, champs uh, Elysee. With pro-Sharia Islamic law advocate and now Secretary of State in Berlin, Regional Senate, and other Muslims even refusing to shake the hand of the German President uh, Joachim uh, Guac at the events designed to promote integration. Germany's way of life is changing fast. And of course, only hours later, we have this uh, unspeakable uh, incident where so many people were murdered again by a yet another terrorist using a vehicle to kill his victims with. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very sad situation indeed tonight. So many families grieving. Our, our, our hearts and uh, condolences go out to these families that are grieving in Berlin, Germany tonight. Uh, and as well to uh, the Russian president and all the other Russian ambassadors around the world that will be grieving for the loss uh, of their devoted Andrei Karlov, who was serving in Turkey. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.